we started our brewery in 2012. We started in a very small brew shed on the other side of Mount Barker. We make a lot of beer, <laughs> so we make 12 different styles. Some of the styles are only seasonal, like we make an imperial stout, which we make over winter. And on the volume capacity, our current brew house can go to 3 million litres if we add a few more vessels to it, uh, but we will soon run out of space. So the Adelaide Hills Distillery started um, January 2015. First thing I did was a gin, 78 degrees gin, um, a really beautiful sort of London dry style gin. Uh, at the time it was just me, it was very small. Um, in two and a half short years, uh, we're one of the fastest growing uh, distilleries in the country and we're employing many, many people. When we started in 2012, it was essentially Frank and myself and we still were holding down our full-time jobs. Nowadays we have 26 employees of which about 17, 18 are full-time and over the summer months there will be more casuals coming in, in particular through the hospitality part of our business. But it's been a massive explosion for us and managing that growth has been a bit of a challenge when you continuously grow, but it's been a wonderful journey. Until a month ago, we had a bottling line that was a wine bottle that we converted into a beer bottle, and that had the capacity to do about 900 to 1200 bottles an hour. Uh, we received a government grant to upgrade, upgrade our bottling and packaging line, so we have now installed some German equipment that allows us to bottle uh, up to 3,500 bottles an hour, which of course is a fantastic output for us. So it's really great to see the state government getting behind this industry, because uh, it shows massive potential for growth in the future, uh, especially in a bit of an uncertain climate in most other industries. Uh, it's, it's really good.